In this lesson, we're going to look at spatial join. Spatial join is combining two areas together. For example, if you had a bunch of points inside a county boundary in multiple counties, like for the state, you have all the counties and you have these points inside each of the counties and you want to know how many points is inside each county, you would do a spatial join. So what we want to look at is how the spatial join works in Python code. So when we look at this, the top part here is all pretty much the same as we've looked at before. We have to set what the environmental pathway is. And again, we're using the KY1 geodatabase as our resource for where our information is stored and where it's going to be written. We've defined a variable called target feature and called that county. And that um, variable is going to be a state map of Kentucky for this example. And it's just referred to as county. And it's saved back here in this geodatabase. So that's where our target's going to be. And we have, in this case, done something a little bit different than we've done before. We've given a direct pathway for another variable. Instead of everything being in that KY1 geodatabase, we have information that's in another location. And so we've called this variable join feature, and we've given a complete pathway to where this shapefile is located. This particular shapefile, if you look at the naming here, is where higher education institutions are located in the state of Kentucky. So this is a point file. And then we have given another variable, a third variable, an output name. And so the result is going to be the number of higher education institutions per county. And when we get done with this, we'll look at a map to see what the results are. And then the command is a single script line that we need to do. So the new command is spatial join. It's in the analysis toolbox. And we put in what is the target feature. If we go back, the target feature is called county. And as I described a moment ago, county is a county map of the state of Kentucky, all 120 counties on the map. The join feature if we look where join feature variable is, the join feature is the location, a point file, of all the higher education institutions in the state of Kentucky. And it, again, is located in a different location than where the county map is located. And we've given a complete pathway to that. And finally, it's going to be our output file. Where is our output file going to be saved? Our output file is going to be saved back to the geodatabase because it's our default location and we've not given a complete pathway. But if you look at this variable, ky underscore county underscore colleges, this has no pathway. Since it has no pathway, the default will be back into the defined workspace that we started off with. If we'd given a complete pathway, then it could be stored in a different location. So this is the first time we've looked at data coming from two different locations, one using the environment type statement and the other using a direct link to where the data is stored. And so with the output, we should then um, produce a map. And so the map that we produce looks like the following. And we've done some symbology on the map. The darker the blue color, the more higher education institutions located in that particular county. And you can see where we have a hollow fill. And the hollow fill are counties that have no higher education institutions located within them. So you can see the results of doing this spatial join and by looking at the data then in ArcGIS Pro.